All right, welcome to Nyeriki Crypto University. Uh, today we want to talk about how you can transfer funds from one exchange to another or one wallet to another, how to do spot trading, how to trade any coin on a centralized exchange, and then we are also going to show uh, how you're going to sell any coin on P2P on Binance or OKX. So if you're interested uh, to learn about this, make sure you watch this video up to the very end so um the coin i want to uh, uh transact or i want to sell is called core so in this case it can be any other coin and my core is in metamask so i cannot be able to sell my uh, my coins here so i have to transfer them from here to an exchange where they are trading on so for example one of the exchange that uh, is trading um core is called l bank so what I'm going to do to transfer them from, uh, from MetaMask to um, Core, I'll have to come here. I click on wallet at the bottom right. And then I want to deposit because I want to uh, get the address for Core. So I click on deposit. And then Core is here. You can search. So Core is here. I select Core Network. So I tap on Core down here. And then the address is going to show up. So I'm going to copy the address and then I go to the wallet where I'm transferring them from. I'll just tap, tap on call and then I click send. And then on address, I'm going to paste the address I've just copied. I go next. And then um, I'm going to select how much. Let me send 83 call. 83. I have slightly more. So uh and remember co is running on core blockchain so uh, uh when i'm sending co it's going to use core as the gas fee if you're using a coin that is running on another blockchain you make sure you have the gas fee for that particular token so i send like that so once i send of course it's going to take a few minutes uh to get to l bank and once it gets to l bank i'm now going to transact those coins uh I, I i i do spot trading already the transaction has been completed from this side so i'll have to wait for a few minutes for the transaction to reach here in l bank okay i have to wait for this transaction to reach here in l bank i'll be able to check on wallet so once it reaches here i'm going to uh, transact them i'm going to sell the usdt i'm going to sell the core to get the usdt and then next i'll take this usdt to binance and eventually sell them on p2p uh, so my coins have already arrived here the core is already here i can be able to see it so the next thing to sell this core and get usdt i'm going to come and click on trade at the bottom center down here and then uh, of course you have to make sure that you have selected the trading pair uh, you have to click on this icon you select core so that it can bring this trading pair and of course i'm selling so i have to come and click on sell and i want to sell and get usdt immediately so i'm going to select uh, market order so to select market order i'm going to come and click on limit once i click on that limit i'm going to select market and then i have to come and uh, adjust this this line where you see here i have to come and click uh, this bar and move it towards the right until uh, i select all the amount so i'm going to move it like this up to a hundred percent and i'm going to tap sell so uh, the order is going to be taken immediately and i'm going to get the usdt so you see i already have the usdt here so once i have the usdt the next thing is now to move this usdt because uh, l bank is an exchange but it does not do p2p trading so i'll not be able to sell these coins and get cash uh, my local currency kenyan money in this case so i have to transfer them to either okx or binance so in this case for me i'm going to prefer binance so i'm sending this usdt to binance so i'll first of all go to binance and uh, copy the receiving address for usdt uh, so i have to click on wallet at the bottom right and then i click on deposit and then i select usdt 
and then network i'm going to select um, i'm going to select uh, okay i can select either tron or pep 20 bnb smart chain so let me select bnb smart chain pep 20 you can use any network provided from where you're withdrawing you select the same network so in my case i've selected bnb smart chain pep 20 so i'll come here and then withdraw my I'm going to withdraw my USDT. Remember my, the network I selected from the other side is BNB Smart Chain PEP20. So I have to select the same. So I click on wallet at the bottom right. And then I click on the USDT because that's what I want to withdraw. And then I tap on withdraw. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to select the same, same network. When you send a different network, you're going to lose your assets. So you make sure you select the same, same network. And then on the withdraw address, I'm going to paste the address I've just copied. And then amount, um, uh, let me do all. You can either enter uh, less if you don't want to sell all, but for me, I want to transfer all. And then I'm going to say withdraw. So once I do that, I'm going to confirm, of course. I'm going to request the code to go to my email. Uh, of course, uh, security. Uh, that's a security authentication. So I copy the code. I put it there. Uh, unfortunately, it has disappeared. Okay, let me just repeat withdraw usdt uh, network is pep 20 i put in the address uh, sorry sorry let me just get the address once again from here i've gotten the address i put it here then uh, i'm going to select the amount as all and then i withdraw i confirm then I'm going to request, um, okay, frequent operation. Uh, I'm going to wait for a few seconds uh, so that I can be able to put in the code they are going to send to my email. I put it here and then I confirm and then the withdrawal is going to be processed and it will be reflecting in Binance in a few minutes, okay? Uh, so the funds have already uh, showed in my Binance. So we want to see how we can now sell them to get uh, our local currency, Kenyan shillings, in this case. So the first thing I have to do, if I want, if I want to sell them, uh, of course, the first thing I have to click on wallets at the bottom right. And then I have to check whether they are in spot wallet or in funding wallet. So I can see they are already in spot wallet. So I'll not be able to, se uh, to sell them on P2P Binance if they are on spot wallet. They have to be in uh, funding wallet. You must make sure you have moved them uh, to funding wallet. How do you do that? You click on transfer. And then, of course, it's going to transfer from spot wallet to funding wallet. That's correct. The currency we want to transfer is USDT. It's already pinned there. And then the amount I want to transfer is, um, let's say I want to transfer all of it, maximum. So I'm going to confirm transfer. I confirm like that. Next thing, I have to come and click on home at the bottom uh, left. And then I click on P2P. You can see P2P here. Okay, P2P is here. And if you cannot see it here, you have to click on more and then it's going to show down there on your case. So once you click on P2P, remember we are selling USDT and we are getting uh, Kenyan shillings. Okay, so USDT is already selected there. If you are select, if you are selling Bitcoin, for example, or a BNB, because you can be able to sell it on Binance P2P, you have to come and click on... Um, you have to come and change USDT. That is in a case where it is not USDT you are selling. So, for example, if you are selling Bitcoin, you have to come and click there and select the currency you want to sell. And then you will be able to uh, sell it. So, I have to click sell because I'm selling. And then now, uh, very important, uh, I'm selling around $49. So, I have to select the buyer who will be able to buy that amount everyone has a trading limit so for example you can see this person 
uh, you can see this person here. This person here, you can see the limit. He's buying from 3,000 to 10,000 shillings. So, um, and whatever I'm selling is actually uh, lying uh, within that limit and is also paying with, um, is also paying with M-Pesa, as you can see here. Is also paying with the M-Pesa. So I want to be paid with the M-Pesa and uh, he's, already, he's already buying the limits uh, for the amount I want to sell. So you must select the person whose limit fits into what you're selling and the payment method must be one of your options that you want to prefer. So I click sell on this person. And by the way, before then, how do you confirm this? Oh, by the way, I'm not going to sell to this person because of one thing. He is offline. You can see it here. If he's online, you'll be able to see um, a, a blue uh, dot on that. So I'm going to look for another person uh, who is paying with M-Pesa. And, uh, okay, let me see, let me see, let me scroll. Let me scroll and see. Uh, let's say from 3,000 or 5,000 as the minimum. Uh, okay, this person is uh, is paying, uh, okay, 5,000 to 59, but he's paying with equity. Okay, let me see whether I can get M-Pesa. If I don't get M-Pesa, I can do equity. You put in your preferred uh, payment method. So I'm going to do this one. Because um, the limit is from 2,000 to 200,000 and M-Pesa is one of his payment method, okay? So I'm going to sell to this one and it's also of, uh, online, by the way. It's also online. I can be able to see it's online, okay? He's saying the ad has been updated. Okay, let me uh, try refreshing, okay? Okay, it's not working out. Let me select another person. Another person on M-Pesa. Okay, I can do this crypto, this one. Uh, so, um, on the amount, enter quantity, I'm going to select all. And then select payment method. Uh, I've already put in my M-Pesa there already. So, I'm going to click sell. Now, once you sell, you wait for the buyer to send the money. And once he send the, uh, sends the money, you confirm it is the exact amount which is indicated here. So, once you have confirmed the amount in your M-Pesa, now you can be able to release. And I'm going to show you how you're going to release uh, these coins to this buyer. After you have confirmed that he has paid, of course. Uh, so the person has already sent the money, the exact amount, 7,191. I can be able to see it here. Yes, I can see that amount. It has already reflected. So what I'm going to do next is um, now to come and refresh this page. I've confirmed. So I tap on payment received. And then I select, I have received and verified the following amount, yes. And then I click confirm release. So that it can now be able to release these dollars to this person. And then I'm going to uh, do the Google Authenticator, of course, as the last step. And uh, Binance is going now to allow the release of these dollars to this person. So already now, as you can see, the order is completed. So that means... I can do, uh, I can just say that is a positive feedback and then that's it. So uh, that's all you need to do uh, on selling P2P Binance. You have also seen how you can uh, do spot trading. You have also seen how you can transfer coins from one, ex uh, one wallet or one exchange to another. So that's all you need to do, especially on other cryptocurrencies. Uh, just stay tuned, keep learning more about this. And if this crypto is one thing that you are very passionate about, make sure, of course, you join our Telegram channel. The link on uh, our Telegram uh, channel is pinned on the description of this video. 
and then subscribe to our YouTube, uh, YouTube channel so that anytime we upload any video, you are able to be notified.